what's happening guys today for our first video of 2020 we're just going to play around with an old circuit from our good friend Forrest Mims this is the multi-state tone generator and it's using the 556 IC which is basically two 555 timers in a single IC and then what we're doing here is we are creating a couple of RC oscillators there's one, there's one, and then there will be another one right there. And then we're taking the oscillation from one, feeding it back into the other one, and we're able to get multiple sounds out of the 555 chip. So let me get this out of here like this. So pin five here. Why did my red not want to work? Pin 5 is our output. And then what we can do is we can put it to pin 10, which is state number 1. We can leave it open, which is state number 2. Or we can put it to pin 8 through this uh, 5K resistor, which is state number 3. And that's not all. We can also bring it to pin... 11 and get some different sounds there's really not a lot going on here but it is a fun circuit to play with and I've got it breadboarded up here that's the 555 timer there's our one RC there's the other now I'm gonna hook it up and you can see this pin 5 wire is not connected to anything so that is our open state and we're gonna get a particular sound for that state you hear that all right let's uh let's bring in the scope and take a look at the waveform what do you guys think square wave sine wave triangle wave there aren't enough capacitors and resistors in here to make it a sine wave so chances are it's a square or a triangle wave. So I'm going to hit the auto button here on the scope and as soon as it's ready we will come up here and we'll have a look at it. Okay so there it is. It's a little fuzzy. I'm going to try that again. What we're seeing here, look at that, is basically a little tone burst. Let's try the second position. So I'm going to take our selector from pin 5 and put it to pin 8 through that 5K resistor. And when you look now, what do you see? That is a very interesting circuit. That is a pulse generator that is being frequency modulated. Pretty neat. Okay, let's put it in the third position. That's just another frequency modulated. And the same. And then back to our original position the open state now like I said it's just a little fun circuit to play with there's nothing super interesting to learn here but what you can do is you can just try make sure you're current limiting you can just try touching this selector wire to different points in the circuit to see what kind of effects that you get. Now that's almost like a steady tone. Let's have a look at that. But I can hear something underneath of it. Can you hear the, the oscillation underneath of it? Yeah, basically the same waveform.
Like so, you can just go. Different points of the circuit. Now, that's an interesting one. Let's have a look at that one. That's seeming to be pretty steady state. But it's not. Oh, what did I do? Did I kill my speaker? Oh, no, I unplugged it. Take a look at that waveform. Now, that's definitely a tone burst. So, if you've got a 556 five, laying around, I invite you to play around with this. It is definitely a fun little circuit. You know, instead of doing the selector wire and pin 5, you could put in a rotary switch if you had one. You might be on your way to building your own little synthesizer. There is the uh, circuit again in case you missed it. Feel free to pause and copy it down. You guys are always asking me for schematics, so there you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.